Okay, so tell me your tell me your full name and. Uh, my name is Russell Ventura. How do you spell your last name? V e n t u r a. R u s s e l l. Yeah. Okay. So just tell me, just kind of walk me through what you saw last night. So um, it was like about eight o'clock. It could have been a little before, a little later. And I was upstairs in my room, and then I hear the helicopters really loud. We get helicopters around here a lot, um, but I knew something was going down once I heard them on the like microphone saying like get on the floor get on your knees stuff like that um so i ran downstairs as fast as i could came out my front door and i look over here and he's sitting um next to the mailbox kind of on the wall on his walkway facing the street and there were uh late green laser dots on him so i was assuming that the police were coming from over there because that is the direction he was facing and the way the laser dots were hitting him so um, I looked, I was out here for only like 10 seconds at most because I didn't know what was about to happen. But I remember him saying, like shouting loudly that he was unarmed. And uh, I think he had a phone in his hand, but I'm not totally sure. And then um, when he, he was like, uh, sorry. Okay, so he was like stand, uh, sitting there and then I went inside. He was saying, they were telling him on the commands to like get on your knees or stuff like that so they could probably put cuffs around him um stuff like that and then they uh he um is like no i'm not gonna get on my knees but i'm unarmed he's staying stuff like that so then i run back into my house i uh, go to my window and just look out the window and i wasn't able to see him getting arrested and them putting handcuffs on him but uh i did see that once he was arrested they put him on the opposite side of his garage and set him down on that like the rightmost um, ledge, and they were questioning him for about an hour, or maybe not an hour, but a long time. It felt like a long time. And then very soon after, they, like all the police went in. There were like a bunch of cop cars. One of the police officers I saw had a shotgun in his right hand and a medical bag in his other, and he ran in really fast. Um, and then later on, very shortly after, maybe a few minutes, but uh, definitely not like immediately. His son the sun was walking out and um, he didn't really like have any noticeable expressions but um, they walked him out and they brought him to the sidewalk closest to my house and they sat him down here and through the window I was in the upstairs window at that point and I was able to see that there were two to three officers questioning him and they questioned him for a little while too and then after a while he was gone and I was not I didn't see him after that when did you see them hauling out the rifles from the house? Uh, I w okay, so that was, um, so I went to practice today and I came back, um, it was like an hour. Okay, so maybe it was like 10.30. I didn't see them take out the rifles, but I was able to see them, see all of the rifles inside of the uh, SUV. And then I was able to see them hauling loads and crates of um, ammunition. So just to walk you through, walk, walk us through what happened. You saw the rifles already loaded up into a police SUV? Yeah, it didn't look like a police SUV though. It just, because usually I look at the license plate and it says um, California exempt on it, but it didn't say that. It Might was, have been unmarked or something. Yeah, it, it, was, it had like the stickers and stuff and the expiration date. So um, I don't know if they just had like, there was so much stuff that they needed to bring in the officer's personal cars. But um, yeah, it was filled with pretty big guns. They uh, hauled away all the ammunition and put it into the back of a, a pickup truck, mm -hmm. and that wasn't a police vehicle Yeah, either. it wasn't. So it's safe to say that you saw them loading up the ammunition. You did see that part. Oh yeah, I saw a lot of ammunition going in. So when the son was outside last night and he was being questioned by police, did he say anything? Did you hear him say I was anything? not able to hear anything just because there was uh, so much other noise going on. And you didn't hear any gunshots last night? No, I didn't. Did you hear anyone yelling before the actual incident, like before you saw Ferguson outside? No, I. the only reason I was alerted to the situation was because of the helicopter. And my dad was doing a uh, yard work out here, which made a lot of noise. So I wasn't, and my mom, and I wasn't able to hear like, um, like the sound was drowned out. So no big noises. Yeah. Could could you tell what kind of ammunition it was? I mean, did, yeah. it, look like, did it look like rounds? Was it shotgun shells? What so was it? They were all in boxes and um, ammunition crates. And so there was 223 Remington. There was 556 ammunition. Um, and the 556 came in big green uh, crates 
uh -huh. and it said 480, 556 you rounds. Could, you could see that from here? Well, I had my, I got my binoculars. Oh, my okay. Dad got some binoculars from for Christmas. Oh. So I pulled them out of the closet and I put them on the the fence so I could, so they wouldn't sway. And oh, I could read okay, it. that makes sense. And um, right. I was wondering how you could see that. I mean, yeah, my vision is terrible. It was really hard right to now. read, but I was able to read the two two three, the five five six, uh, rim fire, twelve gauge, and um, and they were in big crates. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, tell us again your age. Uh, 17 years old. Did, did you know the son? No, I only met him once uh, years ago. Do you know his name? Um, it, it's like Philip, I think. I'm not sure. Okay. Did you know the family at all? Uh, no, no. We, I only have spoken to them uh, like one or two times a long time ago. So what did you think when you saw the ammunition and guns? You knew it was pretty bad then, right? Well, or kind of serious, probably, or something, probably. I, I guess I just thought um, that's why the investigation is taking like so uh -oh. long, and like yeah. why there's uh, so many people here, and it, it was just like I did not expect that because it, it was a lot. It was a truckload. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome.